Welcome back to the channel, beautiful people. It is 9.15. We're at Clark County Fishing Lake. I got Mitchell with me. There he is. You can't see him because it's just total sunshine. Uh, we are on the hunt for crappie, white bass, bass, walleye, you can't take no bite. It's about 43 degrees, and so uh, we're gonna see how things go. If it's not crazy good, we've got a full day lined up. We're gonna be shooting clay pigeons later and doing some other fun stuff. We'll be out of here. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to entertain you with some good fishing. Hang on, hang on. Good size. Oh, cool. fish well I got hung up and then I got off we'll take a picture before we release him if we don't catch any more what the heck I, I didn't even pick up my rod yet oh I swam right into the net wow wow all right back to back catches another one what the heck where's the net Rip a drag. What the heck is happening? Am I the only one taking crazy pills? I'm like, I didn't realize you own this whole bank. That was crazy. I never, like, I've seen videos of stuff like that. Never once have I ever experienced it. Everyone I've run into is like super nice. and But nobody would ever let their boat run into somebody else's boat. No, he did it on purpose. He like, 100%. He, he came right over next to us for that reason. Because he's a crazy person. Am I not understanding? I didn't realize this whole side of the lake was his. I think his buddy knew it. His buddy was just like, holy shit. This guy's an idiot. Yeah, are you gonna let your boat run into my boat? No. No. You sure? Because it looks like you're going to let it run into my boat. No. I was like, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Hey, I thought you were going to get a new boat. Nah. I decided I'd keep this piece of crap so I could run into people if I want. They pissed me off. Then I don't have to worry about fixing it. Oh. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Holy crap, I got I got one. I need the net. He's pretty good size. He's good. Here, just set it down. Keep fishing. Woo! Caught a handful of these guys today. White bass, Clark County State Fishing Lake. All right. Sweet. Well, we made it back from fishing. Good little morning. Uh, took us a while. It was so windy today but it, it took us a while and we got on some fish um interesting little deal there with this other boat so there's two boats on the lake us and one other guy and and we were on opposite ends north and south we were on uh the south end of the lake this guy's on the north end we finished fishing on our end we go all the way across the lake and i see his boat he's all he's fishing a point him and another guy and they're stationary on this point so i go probably i don't know 600 yards 700 yards 
uh, away from him and we find a position and we start fishing along the bank, he's probably about 30, 40 feet off the off that point. I'm about 15, 20 feet off of the bank. He fires up his boat, he drives around to the other side of us about 15 or 20 feet and parks. And I kind of laughed. I said, well, I said, hey, let me know if we're crowding you. And he goes, yeah, okay. You know, I kind of turn and look at Mitchell like, what is up with this guy? I look back at his boat and he's drifting. The wind, which is blowing 25 miles an hour, is pushing his boat. And I said, hey, you're going to run into my boat. Okay, yeah. And I was like, are you not going to move? And he's like, well, you didn't move. You came and got in our spot. And I just kind of looked at him. And then I had I reached for his boat because he was getting ready to slam into the front of our pontoon. And the other guy on his boat kind of went to help move them around and uh i just i was like what the heck are you, what are you doing we weren't in your way and he was like well this is right where we were dri we were drifting through here this is where we've been fishing and i was like well you weren't over here and that's when i just i shut up and didn't say anything because i knew i am not dealing with a rational person like this could potentially get ugly real fast because somebody that's that crazy and sees that whole situation in that way that I was in their fishing lane. Um, so yeah, we basically just kind of fit. He went on around us and then basically when he got to the end, fired up his motor, came back and did it again. So we kind of stayed away from him, caught a few fish and got out of there. So I've seen videos with people like that. I've never experienced it myself. Everyone I run into in this part of the country is super nice, very polite. You know, this tournament that I fished a couple weeks ago with Bass Pro, you know, we were literally 20 feet apart from other boats fishing docks and stuff and nobody, and everybody was totally fine. It was just so irrational. I just was like in shock because I, I just couldn't believe how dumb this whole thing was but anyway nobody got hurt we caught some fish and now we're gonna go do some shooting so hey tag along let's go blow some stuff up Well, what a whirlwind day. Uh, it was busy. Had a lot going on. Uh, no work today, which is good. Need to have a day or two away from that place. I love it, but I need a break sometimes. And today, it was fun hanging out with my son. He lives in Manhattan, so I don't get to get together with him all the time. So going out, going fishing, catching some fish, and dealing with a, uh, and then doing some shooting with both my boys, my dad and my best friend can't beat that and we're getting ready to have an amazing dinner we're going to do that tenderloin that i sous vide which there's a video coming for you that don't know what sous vide is it's coming so stay tuned for that uh but it's going to be an amazing dinner tonight and so i'm excited uh trying something new and it should be good so anyway thanks so much for watching guys i hope wherever you're at 
You guys are making an adventure out of every single day. Yeah, you just gotta find ways to do it, even in the boring stuff, but it can be done. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next one and uh, be blessed.